Welcome to our next video on making successful applications for roles in R&D in biotech and pharma. In this video, we'll talk about the purpose of a cover letter, what employers might want to see within your cover letter, how to structure it and how to select relevant content. It's important to remember that your application comes as a whole package of CV and cover letter or application form and statement, and each document has a different purpose. Recruiters or employers will often have a huge number of applications and will scan them quickly to decide whether to read further. You would use your CV as the hook to demonstrate that you have the relevant experience or skills that they're looking for whereas your cover letter gives you the opportunity to persuade the recruiter to shortlist you for the interview or selection process, providing evidence of your suitability and enabling you to show that you know how your skills and experience are relevant to the role that you're applying for. Pause the video here and consider the statements shown. Think about what a recruiter would want, which is true, which is false. The statements highlighted are true and the rest are false. We'll explain some of these as we go through the video. Many applicants make the same common mistake within their cover letters that they try to cover too much in a very general sense. Your cover letter needs to be targeted and tailored to the specific R&D role that you're applying for and the particular organisation. It takes real confidence to pick just two or three examples of hi or highlights and to deliver those in detail. You need to make your application personal and stand out, and this isn't possible with generic examples. You'll need to be specific about what you've done, how you did it, and the results that came out of those actions. And most importantly, you need to make the connection between you and the organisation or role that you're applying for. Demonstrate the research that you've done and make the connection between your motivations and theirs, your skills and experience and what they're looking for in the role. Revisit our video on assessing job adverts to help you identify what a company is looking for. And if you need some tips or advice on finding out more about organisations, revisit the third video in this series where we signpost you to lots of useful resources. There are many different ways to write a cover letter or statement and conventions may differ from sector to sector and different organisations so you shouldn't use a one size fits all template for every application. Use the criteria to help you structure your cover letter in a clear and consistent way. If you're stuck or writing a cover letter for the first time then the structure that's shown on the slide is a reasonable place to start. It uses a common four paragraph structure that most employers would find suitable. But do note, you can swap paragraphs two and three when you decide which way might flow better with your content. So when writing your cover letter, first of all, you need to tell the employer why you're writing. As an example here, you might include your expected PhD completion date, that you're currently working in X or Y department and a brief outline of what you're working on and perhaps a very brief overview of the reasons why you're looking to move to R&D and industry. Keep this section nice and concise and then move on to talk about what you might bring to the job or why you want this job. When thinking about what you bring to the role, select two or three key examples or highlights that best demonstrate your suitability for the role, both technically and through your transferable skills. Remember the employer will have your CV, so don't repeat what they already know. You may choose examples that make you stand out, are particularly strong, or where you need to provide a bit more context to show how they're relevant to working in R&D or industry. Mirror the language used in the job ad to help you flag to the recruiter that you're meeting their, their criteria. Use an hourglass paragraph structure with a strong opening and concluding sentence. So even if someone is skim reading your cover letter, they can immediately see your key points. 
Most importantly, consistently make links between what you've done and how it relates to the role or company. Never leave the employer wondering why the point you've made is relevant to the job. When addressing why you want this particular R&D role in this particular organisation, you'll need to strike a balance between what you want and what they might be looking for. Make the connection between the organisation and you. What is it about them and the work they do that's particularly appealing? Why is it a good fit with you? Refer to evidence as relevant. If you've not mentioned your motivations for moving to industry before, this is a good place to mention it. But focus on the positive reasons for moving, not on the things that you don't like about academia. For example, you could raise the opportunity to work on translational research, perhaps something you've learned about the company or something you feel that you could contribute to based on what you know they do. Or you might mention how experience or insights have shaped your motivation. This section also provides a great opportunity to bring in some evidence of your commercial knowledge. When, when completing this section, be cautious about making sweeping statements that sound like you're repeating the company website and definitely don't mention salary and benefits in your cover letter. Your concluding section is a really nice way to tie up the loose end and highlight and emphasise the key points that you've made, but keep it concise as a nice neat summary before concluding your letter. You'll find example CVs and cover letters for R&D and industry, along with lots of additional tips and advice in our CV and applications guide via our website. You'll also find it linked in the description below. Before you submit your cover letter, go back to the key features and check again. Does your cover letter, firstly, outline your reasons for applying for the role in a tailored and positive way? Does it prioritise two or three key examples or highlights that provide clear evidence of your suitability for the role? And finally, have you made clear connections between your skills, experiences and motivations and the role or the organisation? Revisit our video on assessing job adverts to help you identify whether your cover letter is tailored to the role. If you get stuck or would like more guidance, come along to one of our R&D application workshops or book an appointment with our careers advisors for some feedback. Good luck with your applications.